I don't hear anything. Visibility is super low. Wow! Okay. Hit there here. There here. Get inside. Woo! Alright, shut off the light, hunker down. And don't move a muscle, don't make a sound. Another day to live through. Better get started. Welcome back to Miss Survival. We're back at it once again in the world of Mist, where a pandemic has uh, struck the entire globe, wiping out the majority of the population. Some people, like us, were fortunate enough not to be infected and become a mindless, flesh-eating zombie, but uh, unfortunately there's several people out there that did just that. They succumbed to the virus, and now we must survive in this post-apocalyptic world. And this is one of my favorite zombie survival games um, on the interwebs right now and you'll see why if you're new to this game now let's grab all the loots around our starting point here the the map itself is actually hand designed so it's a fixed thing it's not procedurally generated or anything like that um, but there are several starting spawns I'm just gonna go ahead and eat these berries we don't really need them they'll add fatigue back and a little hunger but they just take up space we need to expand our, our inventory space. We do that with backpacks. Let's check our starting kit here. Whoops, what the? Is it empty? Oh, no. No, it had water and food. I think that stuff could transfer it automatically, just like that when I opened it. That seems like a bug. Yeah, it's an early access game, so stuff like that's going to happen. My guess is that'll be hot fixed pretty quickly. I mean, this just literally landed. This update just landed like an hour ago and I jumped right in because it's been a while and this is what I've been waiting for. Like a lot of you have been asking for mist and I've been holding off because of this uh, this particular patch. I think there were matches in there? <laughs> yeah, this is really weird. This stuff is just getting transferred instantly. Obviously the gas can't come out of the car unless we have a, uh, a container for it, which would be a jerry can that we can find sooner or later. Alright, I think we can leave the lead to now and go check out the rest of the wild. Now, can we make a weapon? I don't think we can make a spear. Oh, we can't. No, see, we need a knife to make a spear. So, let's go find us a knife. Unfortunately, there isn't one right here. Conveniently, but there might be one over here at this camp. Uh, I'm not going to pick up all the detritus all over the ground because most of it's not going to be very helpful for a while. It's a little bit dark right now because it's early in the morning, but the sun will rise and brighten stuff up a tad. A couple of houses right here, which is real nice. We'll go check those out. Now, the thing about the infected is we don't have to worry about them in the day because they burn up in the sun. So they do hide in the dark places, like inside houses. And they do come out at night, though. So you've got to get into a shelter at nighttime and try to survive. Ooh, backpack upgrade. Very nice. Two more slots. Eventually, we'll find them all and have all of our inventory spaces unlocked. Can we get up there? Not that we need to. Sometimes you find guns up on top of these campers. You can't go in there, but you can punch them. Water! Do we need water? I don't think we need any water, but we can move these down here. Save on inventory space at the very least. Uh, except for the saw. Alright, yeah, we need a weapon. And we need a weapon fast. Oh, an axe! Oh, baby, grab that axe. That is a weapon. And it's also useful for chopping stuff, right? We can chop down trees, we can build bases, we can build up walls all around the base. Or you can just find a house and move in and build up walls around that. So it's quite um, it's quite a robust survival game. It's easily one of my favorites, av favorites available at the time being. And I, like I said, I was really looking forward to this update. So hopefully it's a good one. Oh boy, hold up. We got infected. I can hear him snuffling around inside. Flesh-eating, mindless, infected. Hello? Hello? Come on out! Yeah, he might come out here. If we make enough noise, then you get to see them sizzle a little bit, and then they turn back around. Oh. Uh, hey, buddy! Now, I know there, there is an insta-kill with a knife, but I don't think you can insta-kill with an axe. But maybe we... Is there one or two? Is that two-headed? Ah, oh, it's two. I think there's three of them in there. Yeah, this, this is a losing proposition. We're not we're not gonna go in there. Three v one is a sure uh, is a sure cause of death in this game. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. So let's go right over here and check out this house. Not all the houses will have infected in them, 
So maybe we can find one that we can move into, at least for a little while. There's somebody in here, too. Hold on a sec. I think there's a big white... Oh, big white house here! Yeah! Let's go over to the big white house. That might have some loot in it. Got a water tower here. Sometimes the water towers will have loot up on them. In particular, armor. Like a helmet. SWAT helmet sometimes you can find up here. Whoa! Watch your step! Uh, drat. Not this time around. Alright, let's get back down. Oh, how I've missed you, missed! I'm super excited to play this again and see all the new stuff. Oh, I thought I saw something in there. That was just me, my reflection. <laughs> Alright, we got a car here. That's nice. Looks like it needs some work, though. Yeah, it's sort of missing a few things. Let's just check the trunk. Um, I guess there's nothing in there. Nothing inside. Let's see what it needs. Oh, it needs everything. It needs gas, engine, spark plug, battery, and four tires. Yeah, this thing's going nowhere, but we can drive it eventually once we fix it up. Um, let's go inside the garage. I don't hear any snuffling around here, so I think this house is clear. So we're going to make this our starting base. At least, uh, at least for now, anyway. And to do that, you just walk up to this little panel, click on it, and set this as your active base. And we can put other people in here. We can find NPCs, non-player characters around, and save them from bandits. And then uh, they'll come work for us and help us out. Let's see if anybody's home. Knock, knock, knock! Hello? Anybody home? That doesn't sound like it. I think this is clear. This house is clear! Let's loot it! So the loot is being transferred automatically. Look at it all. <laughs> you don't even have to do anything. Um, hopefully that gets fixed pretty quickly. Now what happens if I put stuff in? And then reopen it. Yeah, it comes right back again. Yeah, that that's going to need to be fixed. Like right away. But we can at least dump out some of the stuff in our inventory. Oh, booze. Booze is good. I mean, it's good for drinking. It's essential. But, um, it's also used for making bandages, but I think we need one more. Yeah, we need two booze and two rags. What's in here? Oh, hammer! That's very nice, huh? Oh, stuff's dropping. Revolver ammo. Alright, let's put, uh, let's put our medical kit in here. We'll put the booze and a rag. And over here we'll put the hammer and the saw. We're not gonna need this stuff until we get into base building. Yeah, the priority right now is to find a weapon. Um, we could stay here tonight and probably be okay. We could just hide inside the house. But it would be nice to have a knife of some kind. We're finding some sewing kits up here. That's nice. Plenty of space, space in here to spread out, which is nice. Oh, this is new. A little vanity. Yeah. This will be Rachel's place when we find Rachel again. She loves this house. And nothing in this room. Big, open, empty. Big, open, empty house, pretty much. Oh, let's go put the ammo away because we don't have a gun, so there's no point in carrying it around. Whoa! Eager beaver. Is that this one? No, that was the lower one. Oh, dang nabbit. <laughs> Shift click was supposed to be implemented. It said it in the changelog notes, but it's, that is clearly not the case. All right, let's go over here and check out these buses, and it looks like a checkpoint of some kind. Ooh, military. This could be good. This could be very, very good. We might find a gun here, maybe some ammunition. Yeah, we got a, we got a crate here. What do we get? Oh, crowbar. Crowbar is excellent for prying open locked rooms and lockers and that sort of thing. So that's going to come in handy. I'm up in the back of this truck here. Yeah, there's nobody around here, obviously. the uh, Like I said, the zombies only come out at night. <laughs> or you can find them indoors in dark places. There's a tire we can use on our car. <laughs> Gonna need a few more, though. Hard stick. Hard sticks can be turned into spear. Oh, there's a gun! Holy moly, it's an M4. Look at that. All right, let's check out this weapon. Four rounds. That's it. So the, the magazine was empty. I put the four rounds in. Very good. All right, well, four rounds is better than no rounds, right? Crank up my light. Oh, there's a backpack. Yeah, baby. 
Yes. And what is that? 12 gauge. More 12 gauge ammo. Drat. Can I open this up? Oh, yes, we can. Alright. If you guys see anything that I'm missing, let me know in the comments. We can always come back for it. This stuff will not disappear. These gears are really great for more advanced crafting down the road. So we want all the gears. Oh, I'm going to climb right up in the transport. Oh, here's that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's odd. Just clipping right on through that. Here is a military crate. Check it out! <gasps> we got a frag! Woohoo! Yes, that's going to be fun. And we have revolver ammo. Um, grenade fragments. We can make more grenades. Sadly, we didn't get any more ammunition for the rifle. Because that is really, really what I want. And we might have to drop some things and then maybe come back for it. But let's just see what else we can fit in our pockets. Is Nothing else in there. How about this one? Oop, stuff's just falling all over the place. Rifle ammo! Yes, that's what we want. Alright, let's drop, uh, let's just drop a tar. And now we have seven whole rounds. That was everything, right? Up to seven bulletses! Very nice. Oh, 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 big crate here. Yeah, there's no zombies here. So we don't have to worry about anything. Oh, there's a vest! We can put that on. Put that on, but we need to make a little space first. Is that a gun? Oh, and a colt! There's a handgun down there, too. Let's wear this vest. And there we go. Oh, we have no clothing on. That's a great look. By the way, there are new skills now. There's only two right now. Max health and strength. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We can... Can we bump this up now? How do we buy it? Well, I think we have to kill stuff to get experience. Is usually how it works, right? So we have key items. We have gears. Uh, oh, this is interesting. This is new, too. Craft to unlock a compass. Right, there's a compass in the game now. Uh, oh yeah, we can craft this. And we have a lighter. Oh! Oh no! It's the mist! Oh! Oh my gosh, guys. The mist just dropped. This is why they call it mist survival. We gotta get up on top of something. And we gotta do it quick. I'm gonna run to that truck right there. Ready, go! Go, 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 go! Here they come! Here they come! Okay, I think we're okay right here. Can you get up here? No. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this mist will randomly uh, roll in. And this this gives the infected cover so they can come out of their dark of the dark places. <laughs> because it prevents the sun from burning them. Holy cow, this is not really a good spot. Oh, no. Here they all come. We're just out of reach. Three of them. Holy moly. Uh, boy, we really need a knife to make a spear. We could kill them from up here with a sharp stick easily, just by poking them in the head. But I did not see a knife. Crying shame. I could shoot them, but I think I'd rather just hang on to my ammo. Well, we're just going to have to sit here and wait for the mist to clear. I mean, we could shoot these guys, but they're just going to keep coming. They just kind of regenerate in the mist, as far as I know. I wonder if I can... Here, no, I can't quite reach him with the axe. That's too bad. It's a good thing they can't climb up here. They're, like I said, they're kind of mindless. <laughs> oh, I got him! Yes! But that means if I get him, he can probably hit me too. They do have loot, though. Oh, wrecked him! Haha! -ha. Yes, let's save on ammunition, because I would like to use the ammo to survive through the night. Because it's going to get a little hairy at night. So maybe just chop him up. I want to check that body, though. Check that body. Nobody looking. Nobody looking. Check it. Oh, sugar. He's got sugar. <laughs> okay. Maybe he was a baker. Or maybe he borrowed sugar from a neighbor. He's bringing it back. Or bringing it home. I don't know. I don't know what his story was. And I don't really care. Is it just these two? Um, let's shoot this guy. I want to try out this M4. Oh, it's a... Dang it, it's a... <sighs> It's on automatic. I don't know if you can switch to a single fire. I'm not, I'm not going to use those rounds. I'm going to just whack him like the other guy. Yes! That did it. Alright, let's check the body. What you got, buddy? Oh, I thought he was alive. A circuit board uh, and an empty bottle. Yeah, let's... I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go check out... Let's check out these tents. I want to find... We really need a knife. This whole thing. Can we check this out? 
more ammo would be nice too. Nothing in here, huh? Dang it. I don't see any more infected. So we're gonna kind of sneak around. See if we can find a knife somewhere in these barracks, maybe? Stick. Oh, gas can! Can't pick it up. I'm gonna drop the sticks. Generator? Oh, it's car engine! <gasps> Car engine! Guys, we need this car engine. Let's, uh, uh, drop the hard sticks, I guess. The engine's gonna be good for us. Yeah, it's really quiet. This mist is really quiet. It's not usually this quiet. What is that? Oh, batteries. Except that we're full. Here's, uh, what is this? Pistol ammo. Oh, revolver! Okay, never mind. Never mind. We don't have a revolver. So that's not gonna help us. Oh, this guy had a military component box. Where did he even come from? I never killed this guy. <laughs> and a can of fruit. Let's eat this fruit and pick that one up. And we'll pick up uh, the military components. Very nice. Oh, mist is gone. Okay. Whew. That wasn't too bad. Now, did we get any skill points or whatever? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. All right, let's see if there's a if there's a knife around here. Do you guys see a knife that I missed? Because that'll be worth coming back for. All right, um, let's take our loot back to the house, and we'll store it. And I might come back for a couple things here that I couldn't carry this time around. Oh, shotgun shells. Did not see those. What is that? Oh, spark plug. Spark plug, spark plug, dang it. So much stuff here that I just can't carry. Yeah, I want to get that car put together. That's going to be a priority. We can move around a little faster. All right, let's get back to the house. I mean, it's right here. It's not that far. Hold up. We got more rifle ammo and a baseball bat. Did not even see that baseball bat. That'll be a good melee weapon. There we go. Eight rounds. Pick up the baseball bat. Drop the metal for now. Pick up the crowbar. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here and do another quick pass. Who left the door open? Letting all the flies out. All right, I'm just dropping everything on on the ground right now. It won't despawn, as far as I know, anyway. It never used to. So I'm just gonna go back and grab all the loot that I left behind. Okay, I'm back. And I've been checking all the nooks and crannies, and I found some pretty good stuff. I found an MRE. Got some batteries here. Another spark plug. A gear, some more uh, ammunition for the handgun, which we're going to put in right now. And I also found some gloves. And now we have a nice vest and some gloves. And we are now styling and profiling, my friends. And three rounds of ammo and a component right here. All right, looking good. So, yeah, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies. You want to look everywhere and make sure you don't miss anything. Yeah, it's tough right now with the uh, with a small backpack, but we'll um, we'll track down all the backpack upgrades sooner or later. All right, I think I think we're good. I think we should head back and get organized for nighttime. We do have a long time during the day. The day goes by super slow. All right, I think we have everything we need. We just don't have that knife to make a spear, but we have a baseball bat for melee weapon, which is pretty good. And we have a few rounds of ammunition with our guns, and we've got two grenades. We should be able to get through this night. But I'm going to whip up a container. Um, let me grab all the components and so forth and whip up one of our own lockers. Just don't remember where I put all the metal. Shut that light off. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, let's chop down a tree. We should have enough time, and we've got to make a couple of planks to make a uh, cabinet. Timber! No, don't fall in the house. No, don't fall in the house! Oh, okay. That's f No. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right. So now we have some logs. We'll pick these up. Bring them over here. Close the door. And we'll do it right here real super quick. Uh, right here, wood process. I think four is enough. There we go. Easy peasy. Now... Let's make the cabinet. Under furniture, we can make uh, a red locker or a gray locker. Let's go with the red. And we can place that down. 
Yeah, right there in the corner. Place it. And then start building. Whack it with a wrench, of course. Yes, beautiful. Let me just get organized real quick here. And then uh, we'll, we'll wait for the night. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Another night to live through. Better get started. This is it. This is it. 2200 hours. I think this is when all the mindless monsters come out looking for dinner. Coming to get some takeout. Curbside takeout. <laughs> Where are they all? Hmm. Uh, nothing yet. Is it 2200 hours? Maybe it's maybe it's midnight. I don't know. Let's let's walk around the perimeter. I do have a few extra rounds in my rifle I found. Oh, got to close that. I don't hear anything. Visibility is super low. Wow. Okay. Hit there here. There here. Get inside. <laughs> okay. That was too close for comfort. Woo! All right. Shut off the light. Hunker down. And don't move a muscle. Don't make a sound. If they don't know we're in here, they won't come sniffing around. If they see us through a window, then they're going to try to climb through the window. And if it's barricaded, they're going to try smashing through it. They cannot open doors, fortunately. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I think we got one. I think we got a live one. Hello? Anybody out there? Someone here in the, uh, between the house and, oh, there he is. Uh, hey, pal, over here. I want to test my defenses. This window right here is invincible. The only ones they can get through are the ones with the, um, with the barriers on them, the fortifications. See, there's no glass in these. So those are the only ones we really need to defend. I wish this guy would come over here and give it a test. Because we could, we could very easily survive just by going upstairs and closing the door. Here he comes. He doesn't even see us. Hello? Hey! Dummy! I told you these guys are not too bright. Let's see if I get his attention. Hi! Hey! Ding dong! <laughs> he just walked right past. Did you order the curbside tacos? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's open the door. Get his attention. Hello, buddy? Get ready to slam it in his face. Oh, you are dumb. You are so dumb. Hey. Yeah, yeah, the window buddy. Yeah, the window buddy. Yeah. Now, if I had the materials, I could repair it. Ooh, looks like he's taking damage, too. I don't know if he's just pulling pieces off. All right, let's get the handgun out. I'm going to just wreck him. Get him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Uh-oh. There they come. There they come. Might as well fall back. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I missed. Got him. Okay, we're out of hand we're out of handgun ammo. <laughs> There's one at the back. <laughs> Hold on, let's switch. Got him. Now I don't think we have any more barricades. So now it's time to fall back. Uh one more. Hit him through there, can I? Oh yes. Yes, I can. Got him. Alright, that's the way to do it. Let's check the bodies. Let's check those bodies. We had a couple on this side, right? Does that loot get transferred over instantly, too? I think it does. Easy. Easy. There we go. Crap. Gunpowder, guys. Gunpowder. Very good. Okay. Go. Run. <laughs> There's one in the back, too. But... Oh, I wonder if I can... Oh, I can jump out the windows. I didn't know that. I, honestly, I did not know that. Uh, but I can't quite get his body because it wants me to repair the window. Let's do it. Got it. Oh. Oh, you got a tater. I don't want your tater. <laughs> Keep the tater. <laughs> okay, that's frightening. And now we're done. Now we're done for really. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like in the video and a comment. And we shall see you next time. We got some amp. We got some uh, gunpowder. We can make ammunition with that. Fantastic. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.